hello my lovelies welcome back to Huge Pat Beauty um, today is a haul video um, and it is an obsession I think you've probably gathered it's an obsession shall I show you the bag and then you'll guess yes Glossier again um, so let's begin um, I went for the stretch concealer now yes I already have a stretch concealer and I got light and I love it and I'm wearing it today because it's so good under the eyes for brightening and lifting my eye area it's creamy it's very dewy you could um, powder it down if you needed to because it is very glossy I love it I have oily combination skin it's absolutely perfect but I was very interested in getting a slightly stronger tone for other areas of my face and maybe using it more like a cream foundation. So I went for the medium. So light medium. A slight difference there. But I just love the consistency. I think it's probably my second favourite product from Glossier. A little goes a long way. I have discovered with Glossier products that the best way to apply them is definitely the majority of the time using your fingers. They just work better with the warmth. Um, I have used brushes and I have used sponges with the concealer and I really don't think you get the effect at all. And it is buildable. Um, I find they cover extremely well and you can just add and add and add so a massive massive winner with me and yes I bought the medium stretch concealer concealed up next um, my favorite um, product definitely the cloud paints and I have the cloud paints in haze and Beam. If you buy two, you get so much off them. So Haze is the deep pink and Beam is the peach shade. That means I have a full set because I also have Puff, which is the light pink, and then I have Dusk, which is a lovely sort of peachy coral tone. So that's all of them. Um, they're just exquisite, they work well on my skin, they blend beautifully, you need a tiny amount, they are completely seamless and they just hold their colour. They are amazing products. Next I went for two of the balm.coms. Now I already have the original balm.com which I've had a few months and this is just a plain simple balm. It's a multi-purpose balm and you can use it on your lips, your cuticles, your elbows, any dry areas that you have. Very very thick consistency but when it's on the lips it's not like a slippy glossy feeling. It really feels very very adhering to the lips. You can drink with it, it doesn't feel you know awful you don't have an awful texture with it i wear it before i go to bed and it really keeps my lips in tip-top condition and really good for nails if you find your nail beds dry in the winter months fabulous product so i went for two of the other balm.coms which generally you would use on your lips um i have birthdaybalm.com which has shimmer in this one so I would say yes on the lips and probably maybe you could even use it on the eyes oh gosh and that smells completely of cake oh that just absolutely humdinger cake love it um I am tempted to get the coconut one as well because I love coconut but so far <gasps> like that so birthdaybalm.com um, yeah definitely lips which gives a nice shimmer but you could put a little bit of it as an eye gloss and then I got the cherrybalm.com because of course it's red and how could I not and that's the packaging they are smaller than you expect I have found that with Glossier everything looks bigger on the website and then when it comes it sort of looks a bit smaller oh that's lovely now that's proper cherry oh I cannot wait and you can probably see in there the red tone yeah love these I love the texture of them really really great and you can buy so many and get a saving as well so it's worth checking out the website so those two to go with my original one 
told you it was obsessed. The product that a lot of you have said about has been the Boy Brow. And I do find brow products are really overpriced, like mascara, I don't understand it. I generally buy the Rimmel because it's cheap and it does the trick, but it does have a very large brush, so you can't be majorly precise. Now, Glossier have Boy Brow, which you do, I think, four or five shades. So I picked up Boy Brow because a lot of you asked. I got it in brown, and it just comes in this little tiny sort of miniature mascara, casing and then you have a very tiny brush but certainly a great one for working in the brow so I will give that a go for you let's see what all the fuss is about but I've probably been asked about this more than anything um this and the skin tint which I haven't gone for yet um I've been like that about skin tint purely because I have quite a few tinted products that I really love and I wasn't sure it would be enough, but people who've bought it have said it's really good for a no makeup day because you, you're sort of aware of it, it gives you good skin. And I'm thinking, yeah, that might be quite nice. So I may get the skin tint, but I will let you know what happens with the boy brow. And then some skincare. So I got the moisturiser rich, which I am loving. I'm wearing it today and oh, everything just lasts forever in a beautiful way. Every foundation I've used over it, my skin just looks great and my makeup looks great as well, so loving it. I went for one of the masks. Now, you can buy them as a duo and save money. One's detoxifying, um, which I have a detoxifying mask. I do, to be fair, have a moisturising mask, but, you know. So this is Moisturising Moon Mask, um, which is a hydrating mask obviously and you apply a thick layer to moist skin and you leave it for about 20 minutes um i do like to use these in the winter and basically just go to sleep with them on um it's got a protective seal but i'm going to have a little look because i want to smell it oh that's a very it's almost like a moisturizer in there um what does it smell of Um, gosh, that's a really hard one. It smells of a very rich face cream. Um, very rich. Almost like an alcohol smell face cream. It does. It just has a real a warmth, a heaviness, a gloopy skincare, old-fashioned pot of skincare with almost an underlying hint of alcohol. Um, I don't know if that does it any favours, but I quite like it, actually. I was going to say chemical smell, but that's the wrong description, and people always run away as soon as you mention the word chemical. Everybody panics, but um, I'm looking forward to trying this because I've read some great things about this particular mask. So, that has been the mask, the boy brow, the balm.coms, the cloud paints, and the stretch oh, concealer. I think I may have to have a look at the skin tint and maybe a body product as well, but I can honestly say I don't think I've ever used a brand where everything I've tried, I've absolutely loved and seen such great results. There are all sorts where you pick and mix and there's things you like, but this, yeah, I've really loved it. But I do need to give, obviously, the tinted balms a good go. The brow definitely needs a good go. The mask, so I will come back to you, but so far, so good. And the stretch concealer and cloud paints are amazing. Right. It's a bit like Jenga backwards. This is going to be interesting. Thank you for watching. 
I will be back with another video, hopefully not another Glossier video. By the way, this isn't an advertisement, it's not PR. I have bought these, some of these with my money, and some of these were bought with the store credit. So thank you to those of you that use my code. I do appreciate you enabling me to buy more stuff. Um, but I just love the brand, simple as that. And you know I love to share products that I really, really love and see great results. One other thing, I'm going to put these down because I'm really worried they're going to fall safe. A few people have commented on the age aspect of Glossier. Um, it isn't something that I ever think about with products. If I see a product and I read about it and I think, yeah, I really like the sound of that, that's it, I buy it. That goes for skincare and it goes for colour and anything else. Um, a few people have mentioned that they felt that this was being aimed at younger people. For me personally, I'm nearly 47 and I don't think I've come across a range with so many products that I feel really suit my skin so well. I do have combination oily skin um, and I do like my skin to be quite glowy. I don't like the mattified look, but these products have worked superbly. The cloud paints, the concealer, um, I love the Balm.com, the original. I like the moisturiser rich. For me, it's great. But take no notice of advertisements or what maybe people suggest. Go by instinct. If there's something there you think you would really like to try, go for it. We're only here once. Buy the lipstick. Thank you for watching everybody and I will be back very soon. Hopefully not with more Glossier products. My obsession needs to cease now. I think my bank manager would probably agree. Take care.